spices I am using. Now, I don't know if you guys grew up on Raceroni, the San Francisco treat. So I'm starting with some vermicelli noodles and I'm going to fry them in some butter. Yeah, I know a lot of butter. Maybe at least like almost a stick, three quarters of a stick. Little tiny bit of oil. And you want to fry the vermicelli noodles until they're nice and brown. Like you know how they're white before or yellow? They want to be, they have to be brown now. So once they're brown, I add the rice, basmati rice that's been soaking for about. Thank God we were just shy on that stick of butter and a smidge of oil. Oh, sounds healthy. All right, keep going with this recipe because this is supposedly the healthy meal. About a half an hour in some water. And I added some chicken stock cubes. I added two of those. And I'm going to cook it until it's bubbling like this. So you want to boil it until it's got bubbles on the surface like this. And then reduce the heat and let it cook for another 14 minutes. And here is the result. Our homemade curry rice rice -aroni. Yes. With about a stick of butter added to it. I don't know if that's what's called for on the rice aroni packets. I don't use that. And accompanying the rice this evening, I have a homemade rotisserie chicken I just put in the oven. And uh, as you can see, it's juicy. The juice is coming out the leg there with a whole bunch of spices. Just my pretty much entire spice rack. And here is my din din. Hello, guys. Assalamualaikum. Was she trying to refer to the fact that her entire dinner was going to be that bowl of rice a style buttered rice pasta dish? Along with a very spicy looking chicken and a side of arugula as a garnish. Oh. Well, I guess that was the healthy meal. Hi guys, it's Ray. It's life and vibe. And uh, we are just continuing to watch the carb fest that is going to be happening with our girlfriend here, Foodie Beauty, over in Girl World, because of the fact that uh, she bought a lot of carbs. And so, not too surprised that we're seeing a lot of these dishes out accompanied by rice and pasta shells and probably a heck of a lot of cheese. But today <laughs> I'm going to make sure we get all my disclaimers out because um, I think she's having a fast food funeral. I can't guarantee it, um, but uh, whatever it is, it's, it's certainly not getting very healthy. So anyway, just always want to let people know this content is fair use. It is only being used for information and educational purposes only. We never want to encourage, obviously, bullying the actual creator themselves. Um, but any sort of witty, funny comments that you want to leave behind in my chat area, you know, in the comment section, I always really certainly do appreciate it. And uh, I don't know, Foodie, you know, she has, you know, obviously declared that she has an ED and we always want to make sure that if you do find content around topics of food or mental health or general health or anything of that nature to be a little bit sensitive for you, I do suggest that you click away and take care of yourself always. And if you do like this type of content, hit the likes, subscribe. I know we have to say it, it's cheesy, but it does help us up the algorithm. So yeah, and I have been almost close to 3,000 subs. And we're so excited. We've got some really exciting panels planned with healthcare professionals coming up. And it's always so much fun. So I hope you'll be able to join us for that. And we're always looking at other creators to look at for commentary and other interesting health topics. So today, the video, like I said, we're going to actually be looking at is going to be called Last Hurrah Mukbang. And it is pizza and it is ramen noodles. So it's, you know, two carbs, one plate. <laughs> and then afterwards, we're actually going to take a quick peek -see at her comments section. 
because there were a lot of concerns from her audience about how her health is and how her health journey has been. So we're going to do this. It seemed like she went live, but it was short. It was like 22 minutes, but it was out as a video. Anyway, anyway, it's interesting. We're going to play her at normal speed. So let's go. Um, I'm curious to hear how she's going to approach this fast food funeral. Or last hurrah. Okay. Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> hey there, Beezers. Uh, uh, no. Want a personalized video from me to you that you can keep forever? All right, we get rid of that. Special occasion gifts. Hope to hear from you. Bye. Hi, guys. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? How are you? Um, well, I'd say I'm okay, but I've been better. I'm going to have some orange juice. Um, as you can see, I'm not having something too healthy. And this is a... A messing up kind of meal. I'm just going to be honest. And that's what it is. What does she mean a messing up kind of meal? I mean, I don't want to be too harsh sounding. I know people say I shouldn't laugh or get, uh, you know, sort of crazy. But when you've seen somebody who's had a history of many different illnesses and many related to her diet at the end of the day, in regards to the non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, her unmanaged, uncontrolled type 2 diabetes. She has had her gallbladder removed. She's had other, I believe, GI complications in the past. She's had pulmonary embolisms. Um, that may not, but that potentially could be to do with diet or lack of exercise. There are so many different things that, uh, probably some different heart conditions as well that related to blood pressure and heart enlargement and so forth. She's not very forthcoming about anything with her cardiac health. She talks about the diabetes type 2, but she doesn't talk about anything regarding her heart health openly. So she ate uh, when she came back, uh, obviously a fatouche salad, which has the fried bread. She's done the hummus with pita. She has had the cheesy pasta beefy noodles with huge, we probably worked out maybe three cups of pasta, which was insane. And all of that cheese and ground beef. And she's been having that with potato rolls on the side. And who knows what the size of that actual bake turned out to be and how many more portions of that she then ate afterwards. We don't see that. The rice vermicelli dish that you just saw, the rice aroni, she called it, was a huge bowl. That's probably gone, all of that rice and noodle. Probably not shared with the Salah. So her blood sugar has got to be quite wild. She doesn't get out and do any movement or exercise once she's in this apartment. It's literally from one room to the next and that's it. The groceries are ordered and brought to the house. Even though she was eating not great in Canada, she was at least moving a little bit more than she is here. And it's going to get hot. Pickles are a garnish, not a vegetable. <laughs> this is terrible. It's just more carbs. The orange juice, even if they say zero sugar, the oranges themselves, how do you take the sugar out the fructose? So that just means that they zero sugar added, meaning they didn't add even more sugar to what should be already sweet to make it even sweeter. So it's just the natural sugar from, I think, the orange juice itself, but it's still going to have a certain amount of sugar and it's going to be just juice and not provide any of that pulp or fiber or any of the things that actually uh, also benefit from eating a real orange. You'd be better off eating the piece of orange and getting yourself uh, your 15 grams of carb that way with a small orange and, like I said, getting the health benefits. All right, I'm not going to talk any more about that. I'm going to let her continue for a moment, but I do want to just point all that starting out. <laughs> you know, bismillah. Even though I feel guilty saying that when I'm indulging. Pickles, ramen, homemade pita pizzas.
So obviously the homemade pita pizza is very much inspired by the pizzas that she purchased, which makes me think that if she's now making them with the peppers and the black olives, which she had and the cheese makes me think that the ones in the freezers may already be gone. <laughs> she had like two little packs. I don't know how many came into each one. Um, but that makes me always think those are gone already. That's wild because she's now resorting, resorting, sorry, to making them at home. She's really eating her feelings at the moment. This is, I wouldn't consider this a binge. But it's an extra meal that's not healthy. So, is that something you need to speak with your therapist about? Oh, that's right. You saw the person once in Canada for what would have been an intake assessment and basically let them know you were going back home home to Kuwait. So then you were supposed to have all these telehealth appointments and resources in a country that you're not a resident to. So you can't access resources like an expat or anything in Kuwait or a worker from another nation. Not, none of these things. You don't have access because you're not a resident and you're not really a spouse to the person you say you are. So you don't have any access to any benefits. So how are you going to do this rather than telling this, which does not need to be shared online and did need a trigger warning before you made this video? Although today all I had was chicken and rice and a croissant. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and a whole bunch of sunflower seeds. <laughs> You want to know what my brain tells me before eating something like this. It just kind of, the urge to eat stuff like this overpowers any, I swear, any survival instinct, anything like that. That's another thing you need to speak to somebody about. Not announcing this to trigger other people on your video from watching it. Or from your video watching it, I should say. Let me make sure I speak clearly. But yeah, this is obviously either performative and she wants people to feel sorry for her, but she's still eating all these things. And she says she hasn't ate much. Those were chocolate croissants. Obviously, we saw that rice. She doesn't portion control. Look at the size of this. This is in one packet. She'll tell you. And then this thing, this could be enough for some people for a their lunch and that'd be it that's this is this is just a, a starter all that cheese too all the salt involved just not something to be shared with on this platform i think this is not healthy oh i always forget and most people know but i am a registered nurse here in the united states uh, licensed uh, and certified. I have almost 15 years in the healthcare industry, 10 years as a registered nurse. I have a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. I also have a year in grad school studying to be a nurse practitioner, specializing uh, in acute care. I've done cardiac, oncology, and a wide variety of nursing. There we go. That's my disclaimer <laughs> as to why I make these videos. <laughs> And people say I laugh, but this is difficult to watch day in, day out from this person. And she really does need to speak to somebody and not give up the opportunity of free therapy in her country of Canada and free because she doesn't pay her taxes <laughs> and uh, to come online and do this within a few less than a week of having arrived back here to Kuwait. Hot pepper. Oh, bitter. Bitter pepper. 
But I'm going to say it like I always do with the intention to make that the case. This is a last hurrah. How is that possible? She bought like 10 or 20 packs of that ramen noodle. How, I mean, unless you take it out of your house and re, just completely redo your refrigerator, which is not going to happen, then this is going to be the same. You don't have any interest in working with anybody or learning anything to improve how you eat. You just complain. And that's what you do best. So I don't think I should buy these anymore. Who am I kidding? I feel trapped because I feel like on one hand, hand if I deprive myself fully, I, I tend to overeat or binge on junk food and on the things that I deprive myself. But then to fully, as a food addict, that's as a binge eater, as a food addict, to get rid of the cravings and that, I have to reset my system, which means eating clean. Clean, that term is just a fad word. Explain what you exactly mean by that. If you mean eating a healthy, whole food diet that has a variety of real foods, primarily based on probably vegetables, seeds, nuts, fruits, and then a little bit of lean proteins and so forth, and some healthy carbs, then I don't think you know what you're talking about. And deprived, if you continue this way, you're going to deprive yourself of a, of a toe or two, just as starters, because that's usually how it starts with unmanaged, uncontrolled type 2 diabetics. And hopefully you got access to glucometer, test strips and all the things you didn't have and a new glucometer because your other one looked broken because you haven't been trying to performatively tell us about your blood sugars recently. And if you're telling people about your weight and it's a lie, which it seemingly seems to be, the person you're lying to is yourself at the end of the day. You know, we don't really care. If you're embarrassed, that, that, that should be a wake-up call. But you're out here eating two packs of ramen noodles and a homemade pita pizza. Well, if any of you want to let me know, are you? got control of yourself. I think asking your audience is really not very smart. Why are you asking, you know, you're trying to obviously get this whole thing that you yourself without any help have been able to switch your life around. I think you want to be that person. And I think that's not very wise as it shows because you just eat the same, you ate the same terrible diet you ate always in Canada, and continuing with the same diet in Kuwait, you have no interest in change. And you and you literally said, I don't need therapy. I don't need to, the, the people to help me with managing my weight loss. Because you're not a good at all. You would not be a surgical candidate. So you're going to have to do it through diet and exercise. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, let me put it back on play. It was a weird thing flashed up. I'd be willing to hear in the comments. Well, as I said, we're going to take a little peek see at her comments real fast after. Like I ate healthy and then at night 
when I eat healthy all day, I feel starving like I didn't eat. I haven't seen her eat healthy. She's not ate any vegetables. The, that little garnish of arugula, those pickles, that's not that's not healthy when you have three cups of cooked pasta shell with cheesy beef grounds and stuff in it and a potato bun on the side. You've not ate anything actually healthy. You've no idea. You've just you're just you're just so clueless. It's, it's you know, and you your your taste buds unfortunately are trained this way, so you have no other idea. You put a a stick of butter into the rice pasta stuff you made, and you call that probably the healthy dish. Heavy cream in your pasta. I never would use cream like that ever. Bitter pepper. So, so weird. Eat quietly, please. I don't know if there was a cup, but it looks like she has a whole nother glass of that supposedly zero added sugar fruit juice, but still it's got fructose and fruit juice, which is just, just, she just doesn't care. I mean, and the only harm is being done is to herself, her physical self at the end of the day. And she's in a country where healthcare for her is very expensive. And limited in where she can actually obtain it. <sighs> mm. I love this stuff. You know how I make it? I boil the noodles. I need a little bit of water just to make them not hard. And then, come here. I add the seasoning packet. Um, the seasoning packets, some tomato paste, some cream, and I let that all mix. That's so good. We do it. She's going to finish the whole bottle of juice. So many pizzas are busting too. Hi. Mm. I guess this is her no F's face because she's just got the sauce everywhere. I'm not sure she's got the paper towel napkin on the hand that she needs to use. I don't know if this is performative for certain groups of people that like content that aren't necessarily you know people looking for um whatever her audience gets from watching her uh trauma dump on them on a regular basis like this where she should be talking to a therapist about these issues That's noisy, and I apologize. Anyway. Mm. I'm guessing somebody paid her to make really noisy eating content. So if you find really bad, uh, crunchy, chewy, mouthy sounds uh really hard to hear you probably want to click away from this video because it's going to be slurp slurp slip, crunch the whole way through unfortunately mm. lovely please i wish she had a napkin and would clean the face she looks like she's a seven-year-old at a pizza party and i'm not going to say to myself this time it's just a bad moment don't be so hard on yourself no because if i'm not hard on myself it's going to be bad for me So yeah, I'm going to be hard on myself. Hmm. 
Anything she's being currently hauled on is a pancreas. And hopefully tomorrow. Will be the day I get a grip. Um, can we write that in our calendars for tomorrow? I don't know which day this was. Maybe today. Maybe tomorrow is today. <laughs> maybe the first of May is what she's thinking of. May Day. We'll make it May Day. Let's see how long it lasts. Let's see if it lasts a few hours at least. Probably not, because we don't know if she eating off camera. But we saw what was on the gro in the grocery haul. So we can have an idea of the chocolate croissants and the pop pops and the snacks and the buckets of rice and mountains of pasta and cheese. Tuna. Oh, my goodness. There's two packs of noodles here. I don't know if somebody pays her to have content where she just shamelessly puts that amount of noodles in her mouth and acts like she's so dejected about eating food. In reality, she don't really care. She don't care, but she's acting like she cares. Do you know what I mean? Because I just feel like all of this is performative. She don't care. Nothing going to change. This is just for whoever paid this content. That's what I'm feeling. I hate to say it as a professional. She's got issues. Who is one pack? This is made with the memo that she's... <laughs> I was going to order. Well, back up pizza. <laughs> I guess you needed to have two for two, two packs of ramen, two pizzas. That's, see, for most people, that would be a lunch, that little pizza. I mean, I wouldn't put that much cheese. And I would certainly want to have more veggies and things on it. But it's not if it could be made more healthfully and maybe that's something i would like our registered dietitian cheekbones to to talk about how we could make a little simple homemade pizza that would be a healthy choice i don't do cheese on mine and i'm like no i'm not ordering but it doesn't matter because i bought junk from the groceries and i shouldn't have Smelling cheese. <laughs> this is not very beneficial for her health at all. You can probably tell. It's actually quite sad in the respect that there are just a lot of these carbs here in the ramen noodles that's just going to be blood sugar. And she's not going to be doing any type there's no nutritional profile in that ramen noodle that's going to be beneficial for her it's just literally going to be a stomach filler but it's going to also be blood sugar for her that's not going to have anywhere to go but in her veins you know and then maybe you know potentially excreted out in some of the uh, urine but primarily it's going to then get stored into the body as fat She's never really going to be able to lose weight because it's it, it's like it's not only just like the weight gain; it's from the extra calorie 
caloric intake and the amount of calories that she now is looking to have to eat to maintain herself. It's just, it's, it's, it's really just not a good thing to be showing online. This is like not even a fun monk bang. It's pretty depressing. Mm. That's the salt and the cheese. And bread. Mm. And seasonings for the ramen noodles. What's spicy? Maybe this chili flakes in these. These are the fried noodles in Domi. I don't know what's worse. This depressing content or her stories about how she flies around on airplanes and never gets a second seat. I... I... <laughs> I haven't worked out which which content is worse yet. Her her terrible story times or the depressed uh eating too many carbs and she probably go to sleep on this uh meal. So even worse. Usually I watch videos when I eat. Either but they're not filming usually like breakfast if we have it together talk about our day or plans we'll watch something together or we just watch whatever we want like i watch um mm, chantel that's not very relatable because when most people get up and have breakfast, they have to do something quickly if they get breakfast at all because they have to go to work. They have jobs to go to. So how is Salah just able to hang out and watch a movie with you after breakfast? Doesn't I thought, doesn't he have a job to get to? Oh, that's right. No, he doesn't have a job. His job is making sure he gets as much money out of you as possible. That's why you guys are trying to do the couples channel too. Nobody wants to see it, girl. Nobody wants to see this depressing two bags of ramen noodles, two pit of pizza, two um, uh, gallons of, of fruit juice, and uh, two very uh, big amounts of pitiful parties going on here. This is the biggest pity party ever. Ridiculous. And it's just performative. Nobody cares about what, I mean, you just tell on yourself all the time. I started watching somebody who does like true crime stuff called, um, his name is Dr. Todd Grande, I think. He has like a background of cactuses and says like very calmly, matter of factly how he talks. He has like no, ever any inflection, like just, hello, this is Dr. Todd Grande. I'm not here to offer an analysis. Um, I don't know what he says. Like, <laughs> uh, I'm not here to diagnose anyone, just to, to give my opinion of what might have happened in this situation. Are you watching Dr. Grande so you can work out your personality type? He does not diagnose. He just speculates what might be going on. He's very relaxing to listen to, which I imagine is his delivery is probably part a big part of what makes him famous, you know? Anyway, I can't give up on myself. I saw a really good comment. That was like, listen, 
I completely had written off Tammy Slayton and she completely changed her life. I think that's because Tammy Slayton almost died and ended up in an ICU for an extended period of time. If I remember, people didn't know she was going to make it or not. I guess when you knock that close to death's door, foodie, you, you suddenly, and then I think the husband passed away. So I think she had some wake up calls. Unfortunately, all the things that you've had health wise, you uh, actually try to abuse the emergency services in Canada by eating to an excessive amount that you know will need to be treated in an emergency room. It's an absolute abuse, but you just don't care. So, you, I mean, unless you get to the desk door and, and decide to make that change, that might have to be where you have to get your rock bottom to make it. Because I don't think this is, as sad as it looks, not your rock bottom. See, but most of the people who've changed have surgery. Do you know anyone on YouTube or somewhere that did it a different way? I recently went back and checked on Fat Girl Fed Up. On Instagram. I think Tammy also went impatient somewhere. These are all things you haven't done. So, I mean, she went to an extreme. And you don't want to do that. You just want to wake up one day and have a six pack. Because that's so much easier. Yeah. She was doing good, but at some point, she lost so much weight naturally and was amazing on top of her game, Did, doing amazing. And then she caught some kind of like immuno disease. And she was very ill. She did. She had a regain at some point too. Not the whole thing, but a little bit. But now she's back to losing. It's a lifelong struggle. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news or sound morbid, but your life will not be long. If you continue to eat this type of meal. A lot of people will lose weight, but the keeping it off long term is what people have hard success. What is what's hard seems to be the hard part. Now I know people laugh at me about my six pack dream. But, because, you know, people like to... 8 to 10% of Americans have visible six-packs. 8 to 10%. So, try to find yourself in that uh, percentage. So, people should laugh at your dream. Because for people who are already pretty thin now, they may not reach that without... That's really a uh, sort of outlier type thing almost it's not an easy thing to get to and a lot of it is because people dehydrate themselves so that's not healthy to rub it in i'm gonna have a lot of loose skin but you can get that removed you know and then under that will be the six pack anyway we'll see I mean, it's not illegal to dream, right? Do I have ketchup mouth? I can't see. Well, I would rather be honest about my weak times. 
then feel like I'm hot. If you're going to be honest, why not be honest about your weight? Because you know you're cheer out lying. Fighting and lying about it, you know? I don't like that feeling. So here I am. Instead of Dr. Todd Grande, I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> I don't think Dr. Grande takes patients anymore. And I don't think you would be one he would want to take. I just have that feeling. You're fairly non-compliant. Nobody wants to work with patients like you. No sugar added. Case manufacturer bill. Because it's probably still from concentrate. They just haven't added any additional sugar to take the sort of orange. I mean, it's not the highest quality usually. I mean... Just eat a piece of fruit. Eat the orange. Simpler. You'll still get juice. So drinking all those just unnecessary sugar calories. Sugar grams, I should say. So I doesn't know I'm eating this yet. I'm He's sure he does. With his friend in the other room. <laughs> On the phone. I saw his phone ring, saw who it was. And I was like, he's going to be a while. I'm going to go eat. Is that why you're eating your feelings? Because you feel like he talks more and relates more to whoever he's on the phone with than you and you can't understand what they're talking about because it's a different language so you feel in the dark you don't like that feeling because you're doing this with him there supposedly and you're not a happy camper so you feel i know you feel excluded from something hmm i wouldn't take my pancreas out for it but that's your choice Behind his back. I know it's bad. He's going to find out. And no, he doesn't like when I eat like this because he feels helpless. He feels like he can't do anything to help me. Is what he's expressed. Well, he can't. And he said if I didn't get, because I was like, we kind of, <coughs> I don't think I stirred the chili flakes. <coughs> Give me a minute. I kind of got defensive when he was like, you know, monitoring something I was eating, like how many sunflower seeds, for example. And he's like, babe. Uh Really? The hill you're going to die on here is the sunflower seeds? I think it was more probably how many packs of Pop Pops had you ate already. If I don't express this, if I don't express myself and tell you these things, if I don't, like, give you crap about these things, I don't love you. I don't care about you then. Like, because I love you and care about your health, I don't want you to you know, be sick. No, he just doesn't want you to have a medical emergency in Kuwait where it's expensive and you have to use your money up to take care of your health rather than spending it on him and whatever that he wants. Because he probably wants to go travel. And he knows you're not going to just give him money to go off to Thailand. And you're going to have to go with him. If you feel like this, you're not going to be moving out of there. So he's not excited. Because now he's stuck in the fart box paradise with you. And it's true. I 
I agree I, at this point. Like, I have to make this the last indulgence. On camera for two days? Because it's never lasting, unfortunately. I, we, we all wish it would for your health and reality. But we know what's really going to happen. That's wild, that fruit juice. I cannot believe how much food she ate. And now what little energy her body is able to produce because her pancreas is not probably producing insulin as efficiently as it should is going to have to be used to try to digest that food. Well, that was good. Temporarily. They call this rage baiting, you know, because we're supposed to be enraged, enraging that she's doing this to herself or showing that she's eating this. There's no need to rage about it. It, it just what it is for this particular person. And as much as you can talk about diet and nutrition, there have been registered dietitians in this community who have offered to help this individual and she has refused the help for free. So she's no interest and this is performative and she doesn't really care that she ate two packs of ramen and two pizzas. She don't care. And drank like two gallons of fruit juice. She don't care. Shame on you, Chantal. Don't play Mary. into it. Foodie beauty. Anyway. She knows that many of us are talking about other creators. There are other reactors who are really not reacting to her as much or if all anymore. So she's trying to do whatever she can to try to get some interest in her. Um, but it's not interesting. It's really not. I'm just doing this as a reaction, but I wouldn't do it as a live react. Yeah. It's like 1 30 in the morning right now in contrast i think tomorrow i'm gonna do something good for me i want to go for a nice walk or do something good for myself if i could go a whole week without any of this BS. She didn't buy anything to do that. It's all pasta, rice, canned tuna, which is super salty. So if she brings out tuna suddenly, I mean, she did it with a potato roll. There's tons of bread, uh, frozen chicken tenders, frozen pizzas, which I think are already gone, which is why she's doing pita pizzas. She's got boxes of cucumbers. We haven't seen a, any cucumber slices or that even on a plate. So she's just got no chance. And, and, and didn't she just waste the food then? It just makes no sense. She bought one frozen bag of garden variety vegetables. That was it. This is all performative. She just wants us to be interested. And it's not interesting. It's just not. So you ate two things of ramen. It's your pancreas that's got to deal with it. That's a good start. 
until then i know this all just sounds like blah 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 Anyways, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to bed. Just go to bed before I eat something else. All right, guys. Like, how did that not even fully fill me up? Like, I don't know what's wrong with me. Bye. Thanks for listening to me. And again, if you want to leave a comment. If you've been through something similar, please feel free. And if you are struggling, I wish you all the best. See you later, guys. All right. That was as terrible as we thought it was going to be. Okay. So let's take a look at her. And terrible in the respect that she's preying on people. Let's take a look at her comments. Oh, she's got quite a few, actually. 215. Uh, because she was obviously, you know, baiting for comments. Um, and then someone said, but you didn't eat healthy today. Where's your hubby? Mine took me to hospital when I lost myself to my addiction. I'm stunned you did two bunk bangs in one day. I'm not stunned. It's the end of the month. It's April. She needs to try to make as much as she can before payday. She, the, today's like the last days. She's got to get all the content in. As many views, as much engagement as possible to get her up the algorithm. She's got to make that money because she got to make sure she got money to pay for food in May. That's why. Uh, this person said, I know it's hard, but you can't have a huge plate of pasta, rice, and chicken and then have two pizzas with all that cheese and packets of ramen when you are a diabetic. Type 2, uncontrolled, unmanaged, just to, to make sure. Uh, this person said having surgery is not the answer. It's not a miracle cure. If your mindset is not on it, all you will do is have the surgery and still eat. Get professional help. I think that's what we all say. Uh, somebody here said the wild look in your eyes combined with the heavy breathing and huge mouthfuls of is honestly disturbing. We've seen countless lost hurrahs and fast food funerals on this channel. And your health has only gotten worse. The only way things will ever change is if you do something different. Until then, we can expect this cycle to continue. Are you are indomie noodles worth losing a limb over? Somebody else just said you need help. And this person said, so let me get this straight, Chantel. You flew all the way to Kuwait to eat like this. You said that Sahar was going to be by your side and help you. This is not what helping looks like. Girl, take care of yourself. The glasses of full sugar juice are just unbelievable. Even if you're making excuses about food addiction for the binges, there is no excuse for two large glasses of juice with a meal, especially with an unmanaged, uncontrolled type 2 diabetic. She's not exactly hypoglycemic. Um, they said you drank 16 tablespoons of sugar in 10 minutes here. And that's what she drank. It's not how many tablespoons of sugar those carbs will become literally in her bloodstream. You need inpatient treatment, this person says. This cycle has been going on for years. Please do it before it's too late. Why do you do this video? Or why did you do this video? Sorry. What are you hoping for? Nothing changes unless you do. This is not the glow up you promised. It's hard watching you appear. You're not even trying. Even sadder when you admit it's against your instinct to survive. Meaning you know it's killing you. Literally. You should probably go back to therapy. It's an emotional problem like drug addiction is. Go back to therapy. Girl, she went one time to meet the therapist for an intake appointment. It's not going to therapy. Girl hasn't gone past one session with one person, I think, ever. It's not exactly therapy that maketh. This person said, I'm sorry, you look kind of crazed in this video, Chantel. This is disturbing. Girl, you're eating like you're the mad... <laughs> That food. That the food, sorry. You got to chill TF out. The food isn't going to run away if you slow down. This is like the 50th last hurrah you had since the beginning of 2023. Oh, my goodness. This uh, just goes on. Goes on, goes on, goes on. 
This is going to be the last comment I'll read. So I mean this in the kindest way. One overweight diabetic to another. There can be no final hurrah or I'll start tomorrow because tomorrow will never come. I say this is someone whose diabetes got so out of, out of control, I was unconscious for two days. You are getting older. Your body cannot and will not continue to function like this. You have to love your life more than you love the higher the food gives you. You need to seriously tackle your food addiction and stop. And then I guess they ran over him because there's no more read more. But that was pretty good. So, yeah, I think her um, uh, audience is basically saying every day you say it's the last two raw and please go get some inpatient care. So I think that's pretty fair from your from your audience, Chantel. I, I think that seems to be pretty fair. So anyway, guys, I don't want to make this video any longer. I do appreciate you watching. If you do like this type of content, do leave me a pizza in the comments. Leave me a pizza if you got this far in the video. Uh, maybe And make sure to, you know, subscribe, like, and so forth. All right, guys. Next time. Bye.